Now that we've explored how R can assist us in survey research, let's move on to another important application, using R for program reviews. One key aspect of program reviews is data summarization. Here is an example table that summarizes the enrollment for several AAC courses across different semesters. The table displays the average enrollment for each course in that time frame. Also, some enrollment numbers are highlighted in yellow or gray. The highlights is helpful to draw readers' attention to important data points. The best part is that these tables are reproducible. You can use similar codes to create a summary table for another list of courses. Here is the code to create the summary table. First, we group the data set by course name and term using the group by function. This function is used whenever we want to summarize statistics by group. After applying the function, we obtain the distinct count of student for each course by semester. It is important to note that course code is placed before term to indicate that we want the course code to be the larger group. Let me give you another example to show the importance of the order of variables in the group by function. When course code is before the term, we obtain the percentage of different terms within a course group. Conversely, if term is before course code, the percentage are how different courses take up a portion of a semester group. The group by function gives us a long table that can be further simplified. We can use pivot wider function to aggregate the data for each course semester combination and have a shorter table. The table is created in uh, the table is created with some basic formatting and we applied those formatting to the table using the table function. Now let's focus on how to highlight specific cells in the table. This is achieved through a conditional formatting function that I defined in my source file. It's called conditional formatting color, CF color. The, con uh, the function takes several arguments. X represent the data in the table cells. A to D represent several predefined cutoff points for different conditions. And we also specify the colors we want to use for highlighting. In our example, we set the cutoff point to be 70, 60, 45, and 40, which are some reasonable cutoffs for the enrollment data we just summarized. We set A to D as absolute value for simplicity, but there is an alternative way to relatively define the cutoff points. For example, in relation to the max or minimum value in the table. With these cutoff points, when a table cell value is larger than 70, it will be highlighted in yellow and so on. With the CF color function ready, we can now apply it to our table. We created a loop that iterates through all the columns after the third column, which is the column after the average. We use the columns back function to specify the background color of each cell. If you are interested in learning more about the function, please refer to its usage in the cable extra R package. Basically, what the codes achieved here is looping through all the columns, comparing each cell to the cutoff points, and assigning different background colors accordingly. Building a script for auto-highlighting might init initially seem complicated, but please feel free to use the template I provided here and apply to any summary table you plan to create in R. Feel free to ask any questions at this point.